Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Thank you guys for tuning in. We are on day 15. We just finished our Fortnite. We got a decent amount of loot. We leveled up once and we're close to leveling up again. But the thunder is still there for some reason. The thunder is still there. Our plan is robotics inventor. We want to get the tier five robotics just so we can deploy two robots at the exact same time, which I think would be awesome. Um, especially with the reloading of the bots and, and them holding more rounds, the active range and everything, I think would be pretty, pretty good. And we could craft high quality robots. So that's going to be my main game plan. Um, I think everything else, like the crafting of generators might be good. Actually, we we have a generator already, so maybe not. We got a nail gun already, learn to craft them. So we don't really need any of this, to be honest. It's just, if we get any of this, it's just for like recipes or whatnot. But like everything you learn, we are, we've already learned, right? So we really don't need any more advanced engineering. Um, Yeah, I think the only thing we want to focus on right now would probably be Robotics Inventor. Uh, that'll be my main focus. After we get that, I want to focus a little bit more on resource gathering. That along with um, the sniper perk. Whatever it is that help me like do more damage as a sniper. I think that's agility? Maybe not. Parkour light. No, it's not agility. It's one of these. One of these helps me be better with a sniper. It's perception. Yeah, that's what it is. Perception. Dead eye perception. So that's the game plan as far as leveling goes. But, uh, I really want to get this robotic stuff out of the way. I think it'd be awesome. Let's go ahead and get that one. Now we can craft quality four robots, 90% faster fire rate and everything. Like, look at that. It's actually kind of nice. An extra 30. Let's reload this. Let's see. Oh, we're at 34. Did we run out of ammo that one time? I think we ran completely ran out of ammo. Wow, that's actually kind of nuts that we completely ran out of ammo for that. But let's go ahead and put all of our stuff up and get started with our day. Uh, we're definitely hungry. Let's eat some of that. I think I'm going to keep the bow on us. Actually, I don't know. The bow was okay during that last raid, but I think when it comes to like the future, I guess, we're definitely not going to be using bow and arrow when it comes to the future. Um, we're definitely going to... I want to I wanna build up a lot of ammunition and, and get a lot of good guns for the next raid and I, I just don't think i'm going to rely on the bow and arrow anymore like i think it was for this raid it was fine you know but like for future future raids just don't think we're going to rely on it that much so while the sun is still down i think i'm going to take a quick iron run until the trader opens up because i still do want to do raids right and i still want to level up my questing my tier 3 questing and everything so i think i'm going to do that um but the trader's not open, you know what I mean? And we need a lot of iron to make that forced iron to make the other weapons, to make the other turrets. So I think that's what we're going to focus on until daytime happens. I don't believe that we're going to see any more zombies because we kind of killed them all already. So that's a big plus, right? Unless they just come out of nowhere and just surprise me. Even if they do, we got the shoddy. We got the shoddy. So I'm not I'm not too scared. You know what I mean? I'm not too scared. I'm a little bit bold. But we're going to do this until the trader opens. All right, I'm on my way back to the house now, and I just realized we already have a quest. I was going to visit Trader Joe's to see if we could get a quest, but I was like, wait a second. I have a location to go to over there. So, like, we, we kind of already have a quest, so we're just going to complete that one. Um, and I ended up getting a stack and a little bit of iron, which is not too bad for just, you know, a little side run. That'll help us out a lot, especially with the forge iron. Honestly, while we're here... We could just tell these machines to make ourselves a forge iron. Let's see. We got 700 iron in there. We got 1,200 air with 3,000 clay. 3,600 clay. Okay. So we could just go ahead and tell this guy to make just a bunch of this stuff. Um, don't have the crucible, so we're going to take this one out. And just put this one in there. There we go. And then we could just make 87 forge steel, all right? While that's happening, I'm just going to put a whole stack of iron in there. And then we're just going to get a bunch of clay put all this clay in there as well all right i think that's the plan so this will just be our forge steel maker because this one kind of has like some brass some lead in it and everything so we'll just keep that like that but this one's just going to be our forge steel maker that's the plan so by the time we get back we should have 80 something forge steel and we can go ahead and look at some of those other resources for some of the other guns and turrets and everything and see what we can do from there uh, i think that would be a solid plan that on us all right i think that's everything i'm going ahead and uh let's go ahead and go towards this location oh you're open 
Hello. I'm going to keep the shotgun on me. Just because I really like the shotgun. And uh, I think we'll need it for sure. Especially going throughout this tier 3 quest for sure. Melee weapons are kind of not becoming a thing anymore. Especially on that last tier 3 quest that we did. We were really struggling. It's a good thing we have the AK with us and the shotgun. I'm not going to take the AK this time. Uh, just because I want to preserve some ammo for the, you know, the day 21 raid, of course. Um, but hopefully we won't even need it during this. We got ourselves some coffee. We got stairways. So we have everything that we need. I'm not going to activate it yet, of course. I want to raid it first beforehand. See what we got. See what we're dealing with here. Can we go that way? No? Okay. So we're going this way. All right. We can find some nice books in here. Be really, really good. I still don't know what we need paper for. I just know that uh, sometimes we need paper to make gunpowder. The hell is that? Got a two big boys. Hello. Take him out fast. You see what I mean? I think we could just melee these guys. We don't. We don't want to use the, the shotgun too much, right? We still got a well-capable melee weapon with us, so we don't want to depend... Hell, oh my god, what did you go through? I know Big Boy came through here. You might have gotten eaten up by Big Boy, huh? It's a sad way to go out, my friend. Sad way to go out. I'm looking for the good loot. Oh, buddy! We got the saves! You know we have to open... Do we have... Oh, we don't have any lock picks, bro. Hold up. Can we make any lock picks? Man! All right, pickaxe, we're gonna be here for a while. Let's get started. Okay, so I broke both of them. I thought this one was locked. Ended up, it wasn't locked, but I broke it. And I don't think I got the resources out of it, unless I did, but sad. All right, I haven't untouched this one, or this one hasn't been touched. Let's see what we get. Wow, okay, we got, I mean, Bunker Buster mod, we kind of already have. Uh, meh. Big man, big man, bro. Big man. Could have been better. But on the bright side, we haven't activated this location. Uh, like, quest-wise. So, like, we still got a second chance. We still got a second chance of getting something good from here. Still got a second chance. Hopefully, we could find another one, too. I doubt it, but you never know, you know? You never, you never ever know. What is this? Oh! Oh, wait, wait. Second counts when uh, use this technique to increase attack speed with axes by 5%. Attack speed? I guess that's good for wood. Getting wood or whatnot. I wish we had a real axe on us, though. We still got this little baby axe on us, man. If we had, like, a real boy fire axe, that'd be so much better. Hello. Anything in here? Doesn't really seem like it. Some nails, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna stop looking inside these clothes spouts, man. Can't really find anything good in them anyways. No armor or anything. I think that's good for the upstairs room. Let's go downstairs now. Front door is just wide open. Could we have came through that? Oh. Interesting. All right. Well, the front door is wide open. Now we know. Oh. Hello, big man. You alone? Looks like you were. What was that I just got, by the way? Oh, we got armor pocket mod. Okay. That's kind of convenient. I guess that'll come in handy. If I can find a purse. Oh. It's gonna surprise you. A little shotgun shot, a little jump shotgun. You know, what's in here? What were you protecting? Some honey. Alright. I don't need that. Lead. I guess I'll take the lead just to take it. We'll need it anyways for uh the making of bullets dog I'm not dealing with you guess you're alone huh give me something good I I'm hoping the good loot is downstairs that's why I'm oh my god but we're not getting lucky at all I think the good loot is all the way downstairs, but I still want to venture a little bit. Just a little bit. Just in case we see something. You know what I mean? We might get lucky in here. Might. Keyword was might. I don't think we are. What? 
We just might. You never know, man. Before we before we go downstairs. You never know. Because the next time I do this when a quest is activated, bro, I'm going straight just, just to the loot. I'm not even visiting all these areas. I already know where the gun, the gun safe is. I know where the regular safe is. Now we got to get to the good, good loot. You're dead, Art. There's just one of you. The big boy. Is this one of you in here, sir? Nope. Definitely more than one. Hello. Okay, so far not too bad. I was expecting a little bit more, but I still don't see the good loot, so I'm assuming there is more. There's nothing really much in these rooms here. Yeah. I'm thinking we gotta keep on going through that. And then there's the good loot with a bunch of zombies. Okay, okay. They got us going on a little bit of a goose chase here. To be honest, that's the way outside. There's the good loot. Just protected by one? Just one little girl? Oh. Two. Two little girls and a dude. Okay. That's it? That's my opposition? That was pretty easy. All right. I guess that was it. Let's go ahead and loot up. Some 762. A little bit of meds. Got a lock reinforced grating here. All right. I'm going to do that one last. Because I want to do this first. I don't even have a lock pick to even, like, pick the lock on that. So, like, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to hit it down with the pickaxe. Unless I can uh, quickly find some lock picks in here. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, we're going to... Hmm. Yeah, unless I can find a purse just on the floor. Get a little bit lucky. I doubt it. Yeah, we're gonna have the minus. Let's get, let's, let's get it. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we're gonna let's get it done. Seven thousand. We're gonna be for a while. So far, this has been a pretty, pretty interesting raid so far. Haven't gotten a lot of good stuff though. That's the only issue. But. Oh, there it is. Hello. What you guys doing in the closet, huh? Bad. I taught you better than that. Give me some lockpicks. No lockpicks. Okay, okay, okay. But there's the dip. Ooh. Gotta open that. There's the dip. First, we open this, and then we dip. We gotta follow the rules here, okay? First, you open, then you dip. First, you open, then you dip. Please open. I don't want to spend a lot of lockpicks on you, sir. Unless you give me something good and then we're friends. So far, we're not friends. We are now friends. Thank you. Okay, some, some pistol ammo, some uh, little storagey storage. All right, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I like that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Where are you? All right. Here we go. What's in here? Hello? Microwave? I definitely need, need the food. Thank you for that. Can I crawl under here? No. All right. All right. A little suspicious. Some money. Forged iron. I'll take the mechanical parts. Some iron iron. I definitely hear a dog. Which is fine. We got the shotgun on us. I'm not afraid of no dog. We got the shoddy on us, bro. Where is the dog? I think he's somewhere up above. I think. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe not. I really don't know, but I'm not as scared of the dog, okay? We got the shoddy on us. Dog doesn't mean anything right now. Dog doesn't mean Jack. Hello. Unless I see him running through that wall, he means something. So far, he doesn't mean Jack, though. Thank you. He's definitely somewhere nearby. I'm going to have to kill him because I have to raid this base again. So, oh, there's the good loot. And I think this just goes back outside. Key to get outside, yeah. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's see what this good loot is all about, though. 
some ammo. Meds. Gun, 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 gun. All right, we'll take that, I guess. Oh, um, that was not the greatest. Ha! Iron helmet? What, what helmet do I have? Level 4 SWAT helmet. Hmm. What's better, a SWAT helmet or an iron helmet? I think the SWAT helmet is better. So, you know what? I'm actually not going to scrap that. Let me take some steroids. Because now we're heavy. Like, really heavy. I'm going to learn this. I hear a lot of zombies after me. And I'm pretty sure they're going to bust in here any moment now. Extremely confident in their ability to bust in here. I forgot I had lockpicks. It just when. When are they going to bust in? All right, they still got more doors to break. I heard the I heard the wood. I'm surrounded by concrete, so I should be fine, right? Maybe not. They're breaking through a lot of stuff right now. So we got a lot of ammo, robotic parts. That's actually really good. We need a lot of robotic parts. Let's get. All right, let me uh, let me drop some stuff. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Just like that. Just like that. You see, I was just waiting on you. You delivered me some food. I have to cook this when I get home. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Let's take these robotic parts. I don't need the coffee. I think I want the cooling mesh mod, though. I think that would be good. All right. Let's freaking... Uh, I think that was it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Activate this quest, and uh, hopefully we have better luck the next time. You know what I mean? A little bit better luck. We need it. We need it. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Only headies, bro. First try. First try. All right, let's do this. I thought I was a zombie over there. Okay, okay. Let's do this. I just made it back. Well, not kind of made it back, but I just finished the quest. Um, and I'm trying to rush over here to the trader before he closes at 2150. I barely made it. We're also going to accept another quest from him. And we're just going to complete that during the night. Oh, missed my turn. We're, gonna, we're just going to complete that during the nighttime. Um, that way we could just knock that out and get as many quests done as possible. Instead of like waiting until daytime happens. You know what I mean? Thank God. Ooh. I thought you An iron crossbow. An iron crossbow is interesting. I'll actually take that. I do like crossbows a lot. All right, can I get another job, sir? Let's do a... We do a clear zombies. Do you want in uh, store warehouse? What about... Let me let me see the other one. This one is a house old man. So let's do the store warehouse. We've been in so many houses lately. Um, we haven't done a store warehouse. So let's do that one. I'm grateful. But yeah, basically what we got out of the quest location was uh, not really much. Um, we got ourselves a level five iron knuckles, which I'm probably not going to use, but I like having them just to have them. Iron crossbow, of course. Uh, we got a little bit of, uh, you know, barrel extender mod, border purification, cooling mesh mod. Got ourselves a golden nugget, which we should probably sell to him. Honestly. There we go. Also going to sell the mini bike handlebars. Going to save the AK-47 and the Gravedigger. That was loud. That was loud. Okay, they, okay, I get the message. I get the message. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. All right, I'm going to go back to the base. I'll uh, put my stuff away. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next time you see my face, we'll be right in front of that door. Um, and I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good one.